Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guests were in the forefront, leaders of one of the longest standing moves of God's Spirit in history. Twelve years. A little church in Toronto, Canada, uh, it's hard to believe. Four and a half million people from all over the world said there was something of value there. They would fly in, they would walk in, they would bus in, they would car in, uh, and it literally affected every nation on earth. But my guest had a dream, and the dream involved the preparation for the greatest move of God's Spirit in history. It would make that look like nothing. How about if I show you a little bit from the first time Carol Arnott shared this dream, just a couple of minutes, and then we'll have her explain it a little later on. Let's roll that. I got caught up, caught up in a whirlwind, and I said to the people, I said, there is another wave of this glory cloud coming. Joe. But I said, there's a great warning that's coming with this glory cloud. Get ready for a fresh move of God. On January 20th, 1994, God poured out His Holy Spirit on a church in Toronto, Canada. Over four and a half million people came from all over the world to experience the Toronto blessing. John and Carol Arnott are still helping to light the fire of revival worldwide. People continue to embrace Jesus as their Messiah, receive supernatural healing, and witness the miracle power of God. Beyond the Toronto Blessing, what's next? Join Sid Roth and his special guests, John and Carol Arnott. Worship leader Roy Fields will be helping to usher us into the atmosphere of God's glory. And now, here's your host, Sid Roth. Carol Arnott is going to share the rest of that powerful dream in just a few minutes. But before you meet our guests, I want to show you one of the most supernatural signs and wonders I've ever seen. I mean, it, when I say it, trust me, it's over the top. Take a look. If you want God to touch your teeth, just stand right up now and put your hands on your face. Father, you would do this just because you love people and because you want to give us a sign and a wonder that would give you glory for the rest of our lives. Let me see what God has done. 